Hey guys, T Beavs here. Uh, today I thought I would just share with you one of my favorite places to get fluorescent shrooms, um, herbs back in here, and then toxic lichen. Um, and it's a very safe area to farm. Um, hardly ever any zombies. One time I've come over here and there was just a couple of regular zombies. Um, which was just recently. That's why they're there. But like I said, there were like two zombies and there shouldn't be any other ones on this path. Um, I'll show you here. Maybe miss, uh, it's all right. Just walk around the uh, cliff here and there'll be another patch of shrooms. And I noticed if you have a checkpoint on the map and you use your X to ping, for some reason um, plants won't show their icon so you don't know where they are, which is weird. Um, there are a couple chests here in this area as well. Um, so you saw me get the shrooms, the herbs, and now the toxic lynching just on this uh, rock here. But high density of plants in a small area, and it's a very safe area to um, pick the herbs. And I believe that, I don't know if they respawn with distance or time, but if we go back to where we started, hopefully those shrooms will have already uh, respawned and we can just uh, keep doing this. And it looks like they have. Boom. So, you can just uh, run this path over and over again. And a little bit further on in the story, you will get ch -ch -ch this blueprint. Where is it here? Uh, status field projector, which takes 20 fluorescent shrooms. Um, and that's actually why I tracked down this farming spot and started farming them because they take 20 and that is quite a bit so yeah i hope you guys like my little farming route and uh yeah thanks for watching